Somebody's got to show, show some leadership around here, yeah. Pasha goes off looking for nourishment. And, uh, he's kind of happy to get out of the, the park and get away from uh, Silky and Foxy. They haven't been getting along. Yeah, the, it's just like he feels like they, they don't even want him. They wish they hadn't invited him along on the trip, okay? Lovebirds, huh? All they want to do is peck on each other. Look, he's going to definitely break free, free from them. Well, as soon as they get to Istanbul, huh? <laughs> they're out of here and he's out of their hair. Well, they've been gulping down amphetamines. Makes them leery about their karma. Dumb people. Doing dumb drugs, dumb they? Yeah. Well, he reconnoitres. Uh, he gets into the Swab Bring district, and oh, there's discotheques, cabarets, art houses, movie theater, entertainment district. Uh, they drift south, slow art. Mm. And he's, until he comes to Marion Plaza. <laughs> plaza means plaza. Because he comes upon the world's most famous huge clock in a tower called the Globenspieling Clock Tower. Glockenspiel? And it strikes the hour. It's 8 o'clock. And uh, out come this uh, rotating a show of mechanized knights jousting and oh so happy a Deutsch a, a barrel makers dancing yeah he he just hey oh yeah good um well he's exploring Marin Plaza and he comes to the Vivian Trillion market oh you like a farmer's market fresh vegetables fruit well, you've got bread, pastries, uh, wine, ooh, ooh, yeah, and, and the cheese selection. Okay. Um, but Pasha, uh, he wants some gourmet fancy uh, cooked food. Okay. So uh, he goes over to Prince and Getstrin Nestras. Ah. Mm. Into a chic delicatessen. Prince of Gress in Sunstrass. Ow! Hurts his tongue. Well, he scores. Hippies are good at that, huh? Get the Deutsch marks and the food together at the same time, and you got a deal. Oh, here he comes. The return of the hero. So. Foxy, yeah, they're already naked on the uh, cotton bedspread. Hmm, splooshed with sex juice. Hmm, patchouli oil. Thankfully, kind of overrides that. And um, yeah, he sets down two huge bags, overfilling, spilling. Not that much matrobiotic, okay, who cares? Uh, and and uh, he, he strips a buck naked, yeah, blending in. And, uh, yeah, because here we go. Let's, uh, uh huh. Brocken Struss Ruth Roth. Ah. Grilled Teutonic sausages? Yeah. Hot. Crossen Winkel Uster Well ish El. Cabbage leaves filled with mints? Yeah. Kind of like Dolmates, if you're in Greece. And um, Ram Schnickelzal. Well, those are pork chops and cream sauce, if you spoke any German whatsoever. And uh, for dessert, he's got the Berliners. Oh, those are, those are huge jam donuts, special, special Berliners. And uh, yeah, 
black forest cake. They went th right through it last night. Couldn't see a thing, huh? <laughs> um, but they got to wash it down somehow. You know, it's like it's a lot for the throat to deal with. It's swallowing. Well, he has six king size, twenty four ounce ice cold Kloister beer, high class German beer. Yeah. I've noticed throughout my life that Germans seem to like beer. And, uh, well, they have 1,300 unique breweries within their borders. <laughs> Amsterdam has 1,300 marijuana coffee houses. You see who see, uh, uh, sets the fashion in Europe, huh? Not just for for spice, but for architecture, art, graphic art, music. Oh, yeah. 6,000 distinct brands of beer. Well, I've been brewing up that uh, malt beverage since the 8th century. B.C. Yeah. Oh. The Germans. They drink more beer than any other ethnic tribe on the planet. Every year, down that Teutonic black hole that you'll never get out of, unless you do the 12-step LSD therapy program, they drink 25, read my lips, 25 Billion, that's right, billion bottles of beer every year, and that's not counting the kids and the and the and the animals, their pets. They're also all slopping up on that. Um, and they have they drink so much beer. They have these weird, you know, really detailed uses for beer that most people would never even think of. I mean, they've been drinking beer for the last 2,000 years. So, uh, okay. How micro uh, smarty pants is this? You're a VW worker at the plant? Ouch. You run into a factory machine and you you give yourself a cramp in your leg. Okay, you, 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 you limp home. Well, all you need to do is give your German Shepherd a large bowl of, of a cloister, and uh, we'll just come over and hump your leg, dry fuck your dry fuck your leg, bye bye cramp. See what I mean? Every little thing they have like hundreds of thousands of uses for it. Pasha, boy, did he ever uh, not feel hungry anymore? Just like, wow, just yeah. And that makes him sleepy. Siesta, drowsy feeling. How am I ever going to express that? Uh, oh. Especially Foxy Cokes is him. They're sack, you know, two beers each, three people, king size six pack. Foxy gives, what a martyr, huh? Her beer. Two, Pasha makes three. Three of those? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, this uh, Pasha system is like breaking down. It's, it's just shutting down. His eyelids is just like... And uh, yeah, just as he's crashing face down, he can't help it, naked into the peacock <clears throat> cotton bedspread. Um uh, silk uh, size, uh, Pasha, you, you must be totally wiped out, huh? Driving all night? He winks at Foxy. Huh? Uh, so there goes, there goes Pasha. Down for the count, that's it for him. Well, he's got his 
you know, passport pouch around his neck. I mean, every if he's got one of these, you're going to passport your travel checks and your drugs and so. No matter what happens, you've still got what you need. But besides that, yeah, buck naked and uh, passing of time. Uh, he wakes up, finally, and uh, oh, uh, he's dangerously sunburned, but it's pink, huh? Mm. Uh, and uh, he eases on his side, and when his eyes open, there are six naked Swedish nymphs playing volleyball. Yeah, they brought their own net, huh? Oh, he perks up. Mm. Oh, look at them. Naked. Yeah. Oh, all right. New day. <laughs>